Everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So, in an effort to break up the monotony of me just guzzling down Oktoberfest after Oktoberfest, I thought I would bust out St. Bernardist Prior 8. This is brewed in Belgium. Let me see here. In Watau, Belgium. Trappist in Leg 23 Watau, Belgium, to be precise. And this is an Abbey Ale. It's 8% alcohol by volume and an 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. So as I've said before, I got the four pack of St. Bernardist and this is the second to last one. Had the triple and the, uh, I can never remember it. It's the, the one that has six in the title. Anywho, I thought I would blow the dust off of this and have something slightly different during this Oktoberfest season. As much as I enjoy Oktoberfest, I don't know that everybody does, so. Got my handy St. Bernardus chalice here. Brown color. Uh, tan head, maybe even on the light side of tan. And the stuff coming out of the bottom looks very thick. It's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera, but it's like leaving some dirt marks on the, on the head here. It kind of shows up. Unfortunately, the, the nature of the liquid means that it's going to, as you tilt, tip the glass, it's going to stay level. I mean, that's just how how it works. Um, <clears throat> anyway, to get back to this beer, smell the Belgian yeast, a little nutty, because there's only one thing left to do, cheers. Holy shit, that's good. Ooh. <laughs> I took my breath away. Yeah, that is really good. Now, at 8%, it's not something I can drink a lot of in one setting, but I could probably do a couple and have a pretty good night. Um, I guess I was expecting more of a brown ale flavor. It, I don't know. You know what? Let me take one more drink. Let me just put that argument to rest. Now, I mean, a little bit. Um, it was a little nutty on the nose. It just got a really smooth taste. It's uh, a little sweet, uh, a little bit like brown ales. And honestly, on the tongue, you don't get very much of the uh, of that Belgian ale yeast. It, it it's an outstanding beer. I, I'm just having a hard time placing the flavors. Uh, there's some of that the dark fruit present, obviously from the the ale yeast. Just a really well done beer. Um, it, it's it's lighter in body than I was expecting. I guess I was expecting something more along the lines of a porter or stout, but this is like a medium body beer. So it goes down really easy, and at eight percent, that you know that could be dangerous. Um, I don't know. I'm having a hard time placing the flavor and comparing it to other flavors that I'm familiar with. 
but damn if it isn't just an excellent beer. Excuse me. Just when I think, you know what? I think, you know, German-style beers, like beers from, actually imported from Germany. Those are my favorite. And then I go and drink something like this. Like, well, the Belgians seem to know what they're doing. is just outstanding. So yeah, um, very smooth, very light body, um, not very light body, um, that's not at all what I meant. I don't know why I even said that, that's not even close to what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, it's, it's very clean in body, like, the way it finishes, like, it's almost like a dry body without that dry feeling that a, a dried body beer leaves. Like, at least my experience, when you have a dry beer, it actually does, like, it has some sort of, like, a drying effect on your tongue. Obviously, it doesn't just, like, evaporate all the, the saliva in your mouth, but, you know, I mean, it, it does something like that. It It's like, it it's almost like that. It's just, it's such a clean finish. I guess I'm just rambling. I, I really don't know how to place it other than it, it's maybe the cleanest finished beer that I've had. Or maybe it's just that it's really good and it's hit me already. Either way, it is a fantastic beer. So let's see that label again, just in case you've not tried it. It's the St. Bernard's Priory. And I got this in a, a four pack, a, like a variety pack, and it came with the chalice. So. I don't know if they sell this stuff in six packs or if you can get it in a bigger bottle as a single. I, I don't really know. I'll have to I'll have to go back to Beertopia maybe. I know there's actually a couple of newer stores in Omaha that boast a very large beer selection. So I'll have to check those out too. Maybe they carry some of the St. Bernardist. I don't know. I guess uh, if I find something different by them, you guys will know. <laughs> Alright, well, if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Vaulted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.